Hello you lovely people and welcome. In this video I'll be doing a cold start and takeoff demo in the Flying Iron Messerschmitt BF109 G6. So let's get the before engine start checks done. First things first, close the canopy. Okay, ensure the uh, landing gear down switch is pushed in, which it is. We're going to crack open the throttle an inch. Uh, make sure that the uh, prop pitch is in auto, which it is. And come over and um, open the radiators, and then we're going to switch on the battery. Now we can start flicking on uh, a few of the major systems in the circuit breakers. So A8 for generator, A12 for prop control. A21 for ignition and A22 for inertia. So that's the uh, before engine start done. Uh, now we can do the actual physical starting of the engine. So uh, make sure that the engine stop lever is in the actual off position, which it is. We can prime now. Um, minimum is five, depending on outside air temperature. So um, it will all depend on that. The colder it is, the more you'll need to prime. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one for luck. If we were doing a minus 10 outside air temperature um, cold start, we would pull this lever here, um, just as an addition to the starting procedure. But as we're not actually in that environment, we don't need that at this point. Then we need to um, switch on A27 for the fuel pump and then we can switch the fuel valves to both open and magnetos uh, M1 and 2. Okay, uh, now we can actually start the physical proper starting of the engine. Uh, we're going to build the inertia up and then pull on this um, pulley here to actually start the engine so what I do is I have tow brakes on I ha open the cover beforehand it's usually uh, 20 seconds to push down and then come down and pull on the, the starter and the reason why I push tow brakes on is because obviously the throttles open uh, slightly it will start to crawl forward so let's get the inertia built up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So there you go, you got RPMs ready now. So come down and pull hard on that. And the engine's running. Successful start. All is good. So let's jump outside and take a look. Okay, so now we can put all circuit breakers in. Put that switch there. And we're going to clear some plug fouling. The engine dying inadvertently. Okay, so we're going to do some tests. Uh, we're just going to run up the engine and make sure that everything is as it should be. So we're going to run up to 2300 RPM. Make sure that we uh, there. I'm going to test the magnetos out. Okay, little drop there. Okay. Yep, they're working fine. Uh, now we're going to uh, test at 2500 to 2600, 1.3 ATA. Thing really wants to move now. Okay, that's 
looks good. Okay. Before we move, I'm going to zero out the altimeter. And we are going to switch the prop control to manual. And I'm going to change that so it reads 12 o'clock. Close enough. Okay, we're going to make sure that the tailwheel is in the loose configuration, which it is. Um, we want to set flaps to 20 degrees, so you can either do it manually here or set one notch in your uh, key binding. And also, we want to uh, pitch plus one. So, this is the little gauge that tells you uh, whether you're plus or minus. Uh, so, no, just down plus one. Okay, a little bit over there. So, all good. So, we can now start moving to the end of the runway, um, which is literally there. Uh, I'm no good at S. Uh, S turn taxiing, so I usually just try and keep to the uh, the line. You may be differently, uh, different to me, obviously, um, and maybe better at it. So leave that to your discretion. Clear the plug fouling before we move. Realise the UV light system is on. Don't want that on because there's no need for it. Okay, so let's get uh, get moving. Tow brakes off. This thing will get away from you very quickly as well on taxi, so just be wary. Likes to turn left easily enough, but turning right, it's um, it tends to fight you. So toe braking or differential brakes are essential. I'm just going to roll straight out onto the runway. any plug fouling that would have happened on the way down. Okay, so we're plus one on pitch. Uh, we're going to prop control to auto. Um, now we are going to um, just configure the takeoff. So we want Full deflection right on your stick, full right rudder, because um, this thing will really bite into into the wind. Um, so let's just um, get rolling. The idea is to um, accel accelerate the engine up to 1.3 ATA very slowly. Lift off at around 170 kilometers an hour. Uh, if that's if you stay level enough and then retract the flaps at 200 kilometers an hour and get the gear up as quickly as possible. So, let's roll. So as I'm moving along the runway tend to start loosening the control control slightly and so we've got the tail up okay, pull 
back on the stick. And we're up. So we want gear up, flaps up. We can loosen the grip. And we want to level out and trim out. This takes a little while. But we're up. We survived the takeoff, which is always a good thing. Gonna come, come over here, switch the uh, radiator shutters to automatic. And there you go, we're up. Clear any plug fouling that we've got on the ground. go we're up we're flying we're alive and we can enjoy a flight in our 109 now so um, I hope that's helped and um, if you've got this far thank you very much and um, as always take care and I will catch you in the next one <laughs>